the nation's capital, Allison Widdott, Emma Signa, Elizabeth Sistrunk, and Alexia Sawa. Fourth place going to the Academy Bullets, Brooke Corrigan, Chloe Diner, Ariana Nikula, and Paige Kowal. The bronze to Nova of Virginia, Riley Miklos, Emery Dunthar, Lane Francis, and Allison Bischoff. The silver to the Academy Bullets, Haley Visick, Rebecca Rentz, Caitlin Gressick, and Sadie Murphy. And number one, the gold going to Waukesha Express, Olivia Warner, Emerson Meyer, Ella Antuski, and Ashton Lowell. Thank you. 
number five, Montgomery. And the and six is the Titans. And the Montgomery is in third with 647. Right ahead of them, Nova, Virginia is 692. And Nation's Capital, the commanding lead of 1,012 points. We're going to start off with the women's 400 IM. And as always, the first heat is the 16 and unders. And so we'll see uh, 
uh, we'll see the uh, these kids, the young the youngsters. In lane one, we have Immigan Duffy at uh, from Hinsdale Swim Club, Addison Kent from St. Andrews unattached. Uh, lane three is Haley Johnson from Elmbrook. Lane four is Emily Schneider from Team Greenville. Lane five is Kelly Kincaid from Rockville, Montgomery. Stella Succi from Adina Swim Club is in lane six. And lane seven, Sadie Rogers from Oldie Swimming out of Michigan. And lane eight, Abby Schneider from Team Greenville. We talked a lot about the IM last night. We had the men's 400 IM last night. We got the women's tonight. You know, we, uh, in the butterfly, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for swimmers that have nice long strokes, keeping their hips up, uh, you know, conserving energy, but being able to go fast, being efficient is really important on the front half of this race. And right now our leader is uh, um, uh, Kelly Kincaid from Rockville Montgomery, South 31-3. One of the things you want to see swimmers doing in each of the four 100s, because we're going to start with the butterfly, then we'll move on to the backstroke, the breaststroke, and the freestyle, is we want to be building those 100s. We want the second 50 of each 100 to be a little bit faster than the first 50. That shows good discipline, you know, or the splits to be very close. Uh, K- Kelly um, Kelly Kincaid, 107.8, going out in the first 100. Uh, it's got a pretty good lead right now, uh, but we'll see, you know, some kids are backstrokers, some kids are breaststrokers, some kids are freestylers, so you'll see it's not uncommon to see some lead changes. Kelly Kincaid still looks very good, but we're seeing in lane six, Stella, or I'm sorry, in lane three, um, Haley Johnson starting to make a move. But right now, it is Kelly Kincaid with the lead. <laughs> touches first one of the faster splits uh, Emily Schneider next to her in lane four was 39 one this is where we talked you know we wanted you don't want to see someone go a 39 and then a 41 on the second 50 because we don't want it you know to blow it out so looking to watch these swimmers build and uh, right now uh, Kelly Kincaid looks very very good but there is a group of three swimmers right behind them. So this is where we find out who the breaststrokers are. This is where we can see a lot of movement. Hey. Kelly Kincaid coming in. 38-6, a little bit faster. 38-3 for the Schneider. She was really closing fast at the end of that lane four. And now we'll see. Uh, this is where the... You know, third hundred, this is where it starts to get a little bit difficult. And so if you're a breaststroker, you do have an advantage here. But uh, Kelly Kincaid looks great. She's uh, she, she's definitely a breaststroker. Kelly Kincaid building a lead, pulling away from the rest of the field. Five, but actually Haley Johnson in lane three of just a, two lanes above her split a 43-4 uh, a lot of 44-45 so she's uh, you know uh, Kelly Kincaid had the second fastest split in the breaststroke but now we're starting to see a little bit of a charge we're starting to see watch for Emily Schneider lane four starting to move up along on the top of her of the screen there um Getting into that wall and the breaststroke and getting out of the freestyle. And if you're a couple seconds ahead, that means you're doing the fastest stroke while they're still doing the slowest stroke. So, but we've seen this gap is really, really tightened up here. Uh, Kelly Kincaid, 44-0, 46-7, fell off the pace a little bit there. Uh, in fact, all the girls did. They all worked pretty hard on their first 50 of breaststroke. And now the race is really, really tight. So, and look at right now, uh, Emily Schneider, uh, lane four looks really really strong she's got a really big kick going and uh, she is moving past kelly kincaid haley johnson on the top also making a move uh lane six stella, stella Succi, uh, is, is, is starting to move in but right now it's uh it's all it's all in the show right now for team greenville she splits a uh, 34 4 passes 50 on the field by nearly a second 
And if she can keep those legs going, it looks like she's going to. She's going to have a, a nice swim here. The um, Olympic trial qualifying time for this event. Is a 449.8. These girls are quite a bit off that pace, but that's not surprising. They're the youngest kids. So, uh, but uh, Emily Schneider touches first with a 505.3. Uh, uh, lane four, lane six from Adina Estella Succi. Uh, she was 506. And then lane number three, Haley Johnson, 5076. So we saw quite a bit of lead change. We saw a little bit of lead change going on there. And so, um, and that is very common in the 400 IM. Going into the D final now, we have uh, in lane one, Amberlyn Gong from Naval Academy, uh, Zara Kosak from Excel, Scarlett McG McGlinchey from GPAC, uh, Sarah Larson is in lane four from Long Island, in lane five, Francis Muir from Aqua Jets, in lane six, Maria Webb from Rockville, Montgomery, in lane seven, Michael Gilliam, um, yep. Uh, Michelle Gillian uh, from Scottsdale Aquatic Club. And in lane eight, Grace Belknap from uh, City of Richardson. And again, D, C, B, and A finals. These are 18 and unders. These D finalists uh, at A, B, and C finals will score, for, will score team points for their teams. The uh, D finalists are so just to gain some experience. Another great thing about this meet is that we swim five heats at night. So, and as fast as this meet is, you know, we swim. <laughs> out first is Scarlett uh, McGlinchey from uh, Greater Pensacola. She's out 30.2. Uh, right next to her is uh, Zara Kosak from Excel, 30.3. Maria Webb from Rockville Montgomery is 30.8. So we got three or four girls out there uh, challenging the leaders. And it looks like Maria Webb is going to touch the wall first in lane six. And it is, yeah, she had a really strong second 50, 34 1. Really light. It's nice to see a butterfly go 30.8, 34.1. Have those first two 50s tight together. Show signs that she's building her race. Um, Scarlett McGlinchey's in second in lane three. Now we go to the backstroke. Uh, right now it looks uh, Maria Webb is in lane six. She's your leader, uh, third from the bottom. Uh, but now, now we want to watch uh, lane two. Uh, Zara Kosak, uh, she was in fourth uh, at the 100, but she is moving up quickly. She's got nice hand speed. That's important backstroke. You have quick hands. You have She pulls ahead, 36-6. She is uh, all, like two seconds faster than the rest of the field. So she's going to be, um, she's moving very, very well. Uh, and uh, But uh, Maria Webb is in second. And she's hanging in there right there, staying close. We'll move to the breaststroke. And again, these two girls are building up a big lead. But there might be a breaststroker hiding in there in that second, in that second grouping. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be Zara Kosak from lane two. She's going to touch first. It's a little bright breath there on that turn. Get ready for the underwater pullout. You can see those there. These girls pulling out. They're banned. You've slumped 200, 200, 200, 200 hard meters. And now you got to do that pullout. So, but uh, we'll see where it happens here. Now, uh, Zara Kosak looking very strong. Maria Webb also looking good. But right above Maria Webb in lane five, Francis Muir. Looks very, very strong, as well as Scarlett, Mc... Scarlett McGlinchey is also looking pretty strong, too. So there are some breaststrokers. They're starting to come back into the field up with the leaders. Uh, but uh, and, and uh, right behind her split wise in fifth place was uh, Sarah Larson at the second fastest split of 43 nine. So we'll see if she's got enough. Uh, actually, Scarlett McGlinchey of 42 five in lane three had the fastest split. So we'll see how uh, that pans out. But right now it's Maria Webb in lane six with the big lead. And you can see up there in the top here saying Zara, um, 
Scarlett McGlinchey in lane three, starting to move into second place. Want to keep driving those legs all the way into the finish of this hunter so you can get onto the freestyle, use your dolphin kicks off the wall, and then get the get the t- legs going, build up your tempo there. Murray Webb continuing to, w- to lead this race. And in second place is uh, lane three, Scarlett McGlinchey. And uh, see who the freestylers are, see if there's any movement. But right now I would say Maria, uh, uh, Maria Webb from Rockville, Montgomery there in lane six. Seems to have the race in control, but you never know. The, still, still 50, 60 meters left. So Maria Webb splits a 35-4. It's not the fastest split, but when you've got uh, when you've got a, a, nearly a two-second lead, you know, you've got a little bit of room to play with. And I just don't think that the rest of the girls in this heat, even if they're out splitting or have enough real estate to catch her. The race is definitely tightening up, and there's a great race for second place. But it's going to be Maria Webb with, that's going to win. And check out this race between Zara so- Kosak and Scarlett McGindy for third. Or for second, I mean. And it is uh, Zara Kozak from Excel in second place. And uh, I believe it's Scarlett McGlynn. She is third with the uh, 501 So 6 100 to race for five minutes. And the race comes down to 6 100 for second place. So great tight swimming there. All right. Now we get into the C final. These girls are all scoring points for their teams. Isabella Bow from St. Charles in lane one. Maria Grishiba from Nation's Capital. Kira Reed in lane number three from Nova, Virginia. Mary Stewart Hawkins, lane four, Nova, Virginia. Caitlin Hodum, lane number five, Nova, Virginia. A lot of points on the board for them this heat. Cameron Tilger, GPAC, Nova, Virginia. Again, four swimmers this heat. Riley Miklos in lane number seven. Southeast Mester Starks, Logan Haberman in lane number eight, rounding out the field. So Nova Virginia's got the three girls in the middle of the pool in lanes three, four, and five, and then they've got four summers. These girls train together. They know their strategies. That can be an advantage knowing, you know, they know who the flyers are, who, who's the flyer, who's the backstroker, who's the breaststroker, and who's the freestyler. So they'll be able to look at each other and kind of figure it out. They're very tightly uh, bunched up this, this whole heat. So we have Mary Stewart Hawkins in first, 30.97. Caitlin Hodum in lane five, right behind her, 31.2. So 30.98 also. So uh, 31.1, 31.1. Very, very tight race right now. Well, it's anybody's race right now, so. Looks like Caitlin Hodum is going to touch first. And it is. Caitlin Hodum touching first with a 107.4. But only four tenths behind her is fifth place. So we got, you know, four or five girls all within a half a second of each other after the first hundred fly. Should see some separation of the field with the backstrokers and the breaststrokers uh, mixing things up. And, uh... Right now, Caitlin Odom looks to be pulling away from the field on the backstroke. (laughs) Completely dominating the field. Everybody else is 39. She's almost three seconds faster than the entire field on that first 50 backstroke. She can maintain this split and be a, a, a throw down another 36. You know, I think she's going to have a dominating lead on this field. And uh, unless she literally doesn't know how to some breaststroke, which my, I doubt I mentioned she does. Uh, this race is, uh, she's clearly going to be the favorite to win this race. And she splits a 37-1. A little bit slower than the first 50, but very, very well split. Uh, second place is her teammate, Mary Stewart, uh, Mary Stewart Hawkins. She's at 226. So it's a five-and-a-half-second lead now. So 
We'll see if she can, if you know, if her breaststroke can hold on to this lead. Um, I think we're seeing like uh, right above her, uh, Mary Mary Stewart Hawkins looks to be gaining a little bit. The whole field may be gaining just a touch, but we'll see when we get to this turn. Yeah, Maria Grusheva in lane two has outsplit uh, Caitlin Hocum by f- nearly five seconds. Uh, Mary Stewart Hawkins outsplit her by about a second and a half, but uh, she still has a commanding lead. Um, it's got about a four second lead over Maria Grusheva, but Maria Grusheva is coming on really, really strong. We'll see if she, Maria can hold another 39 second split. She'll have a shot, but uh, we're. You know, Caitlin Hodum, it looks looks strong. I mean, she's hanging in there. But boy, here comes Maria Grishiva. She is really closing hard. 42 9, 39 5 in the first week, 42 9. So uh, she's cut almost, she's taken four seconds off the lead. Caitlin Holcomb still has a second lead over the field, and she looks pretty strong. And then we see uh, Mary Stewart Hawkins in lane four. Look at that big kick. And also in Riley Mikla, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, Cameron Tilger in lane six, also with a big kick. Lane one is about both St. Charles trying to make a move here. So, Mary Stewart Hawkins is within a second of the leader, second and a half, and she had a really big split. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. But uh, this race is going to come down to. Uh, Mary Stewart Hawkins and Caitlin Hodum in lanes four and five. Caitlin, Ho- Caitlin looks very, very good. Cameron Tilger uh, also coming up in lane six. So, uh, and then uh, once again, Isabel Bow in lane number one. So, uh, but it's going to be uh, Caitlin Hodum hanging on. Oh, maybe. Not. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And literally, Caitlin Hodum led this race for 399 yards. <laughs> And uh, Mary Stewart with a phenomenal finish, big stroke, really turned and stretched into that finish and touched out uh, by, and won the race by seven one hundredths of a second, 501 uh, And then in third place, we had Cameron Tilger also coming up with a 5029. So what a great race. But again, you know, you it, this is where, you know, uh, obviously uh, Caitlin uh, Hodum, very, very strong in the fly. Uh, very, very strong in the backstroke. But then it was Mary Stewart Hawkins in the breast and the free that was able to whittle away at that lead. And so, uh, great race, ladies. Now in the B final, we have Caitlin Colasar from Suburban Seahawks in lane one. In lane two, Grace Koenig's song from NASA Wildcat. In lane three, Gwyneth Frick, a nation's capital. Lane four, Elizabeth Bryan Machine. Lane five, Carolyn a- uh, Agee from Nation's Capital. Lane six, Isabella Watoyowitz in from Academy Bullets. Uh, Laney Mullins unattached in lane seven. And uh, Burlington, or we call her Burley Bocos from FMC Aquatics in lane eight. A lot of points on the line here uh, for the teams. And uh, down at the bottom of the let's see, uh, Grace Koenig's song from Wildcat is, uh, is first uh, at the turn. But uh, Burley Boca is down in lane eight at the bottom of your screen. has take, It looks like she's pulling ahead. She was gone from third. Uh, Isabella Watoyowicz was in second. And now it looks like Burley Boca is uh, moving into first place at the end of the, the, first, uh, the first hundred. It's going to be tight, though. There's like four girls all in a row. But it is Burley Bocos. Uh, she touches first with a 105.0. Second place, Carolyn A.G. from NCAP. And Isabella Wojtowicz uh, from Academy Bullets in lane, is, uh, lane six is third. Go to the backstrokes. And it looks like Burley Bocos has uh, got a nice little rhythm going. Carolyn A.G. also in lane five looks very strong. 
Elizabeth Bryan from Machine in lane four, Isabella Wojtowicz in lane six. So it's a very, very tight race. A little different from the last race we saw. But Caroline Agee splitting a 38-1, about a, about a seven, eight tenths of a second faster than Burley um, Bocos in lane eight. Again, the Olympic trial cut is a 449.8. I think if one of these girls was uh, in serious contention, you'd see them way, way out in front of the field, uh, especially in the B and C finals. Usually you see those swimmers like way, way out in front. But we'll see what happens. Um, as we touch the wall, it looks like Caroline Agee from NCAP will touch first. Burley Bulk is right behind her, 222-3, uh, 222-2. Uh, Elizabeth Bryan, 223-6, right behind her. So uh, moving things around, but now we get to the breaststroke, and we'll see how things pan out. Caroline Agee is on a very nice long stroke here. She looks very, very good there. Uh, but right above her, Elizabeth Bryan uh, also looks good. So we'll see what happens. We'll see who the uh, where we're at. Burley Bocos is hanging in there in the top three right now. She has the fastest split in the breaststroke, so she's actually pulling ahead, uh, pulling away from the rest of the field. She's going to be difficult to beat uh, this last 130 meters. So Carolyn H. E. is in first place. And right, uh, Elizabeth Bryan and Burley Bocas in lanes four and eight are battling out for second right now. Still a lot of swimming left. We'll see if there's some big distance freestylers in this field that are in the, that are just laying in wait in the back of this field. So, Carolyn Agee from NCAP touches first. 41 eight again, the fastest uh, first, uh, the fastest 50 in the field. So, and look at her lead. She has opened up. Uh, a three second lead, three and a half second lead. Looks very, very smooth. Uh, decent kick, but uh, Mary uh, Elizabeth Bryan in lane four looks very, very strong with the kick. Burley Bocas in lane eight with a strong kick. Also. But Carolyn H. E. again, she's got one of the fastest, she's the fastest among the leaders. Laney Mullins in lane seven actually has the fastest freestyle split, but she's a little bit too far back, I think, to actually, I mean, she's not going to win the race. This race is going to be Carolyn H. E. She's going to, uh, she's going to cruise into the finish. Uh, did a lot of hard work at the beginning of the race, so she doesn't have to kill herself on the freestyle, but she's got a good tempo going and finishing strong. With a 455.44. Second place is Burley Bocas with a great last 50 of 33.8. Touches out Elizabeth Bryan, 459.3, 459.4. Uh, Elizabeth Bryan from Machine Aquatics finishes third. Finalists are parading out now in lane one from Suburban Seahawks is Gemma Underkoffler. In lane number two from Condor, Cornelia Fox. In lane number three from the Scottsdale Aquatic Club is Emma Sayers. Lane number four, Team Greenfield, Lella Bognar. Lane number five, City of Richardson. Core swimming out of Texas, Campbell Chase. And lane number six from the Academy Bullet Swim Club, Chloe Diner. 
in lane number seven. Her teammate, Caitlin Griesick from Academy Bullet Swim Club. And rounding out the field in lane eight, Kylie Mac, uh, McMurray from Greater Pensacola Aquatic Club. You know, there's about a five, six second difference between first and eighth, but now we're going long course, so we'll see how that pans out with these girls. See if the leaders are as strong, you know, that they're as strong short, short, long course as they were short course. And uh, we'll see what surprises are unfolding for us. So again, 449.8. The meet record is a 447.3. Uh, back help, uh, uh, established in 2012 by Megan Rankin. Hey. Man, pretty much a straight line, but lane two. Uh, Cornelia Fox from Condor out in a little bit out in the early lead. But it is Lily Bogdan in first, uh, 30.6, four one-hundredths ahead of Cornelia Fox up in lane two. Uh, 30.7 for lane in uh, for Campbell Chase from uh, City of Richardson. So very, very bunched up field, tight field. Watch Kylie McMurray in lane eight. She's starting to, looks like, make a small move here. But touching the wall first, it's going to be Lily Bognar from uh, from Team Greenville. She touches the wall first. Uh, 105.3. She's got about a little over a second lead. Now we go to the backstroke. Lily looks very, very strong. We've seen her swim in several finals. Very competitive. And she is absolutely pulling away from the field here. It's hard to tell if they're on pace for the Olympic trial qualifying time because everybody swims it differently. You might be a better backstroker, a better breaststroker. So maybe it looks like you're ahead of the pace, but then you know who's going to be the as we get close to the last 100 to where we're at. But uh, Lily Bognar, 35-8. Again, she is two seconds ahead of the, of the entire field on that second 50 split. So she is opening up a monster lead here. And you typically see when somebody is that far ahead of the field in the finals, you know, that uh, in the championship final heat, that it's, it could be a special swim, but we'll see where her breaststroke takes her. 35-8 on the first 50, 35-5. Again, really nice job of, of even splitting those hundred, those 50s a little bit faster on the second 50. So she's building her speed, and that's what you want. She's got a nice, strong breaststroke. I think she'd want to be around a 40-41, maybe. Uh, on these on these two fifties to have a shot at a trial cut. And she touches at forty point one. Now uh Chase Campbell or Campbell Chase from Core 39-4. And uh but uh and then Emma Sayers in lane three forty point oh both a little bit faster. Um but Campbell Chase is the only one who's really at, but when you've got uh, you know a four or five second lead, you know I, I just don't think they're going to catch her. So, but City of Richardson, those kids, those kids are known for distance freestylers, so they've got a lot of them there. So, I would expect a strong push from Chase Campbell at the end of this race. But uh, and she's starting to really close a little bit. But uh, and it is Lily Bogner forty-one-one. Campbell Chase 41 3, 338. She needs to be 35 low on each of these 250s to make a trial cut. Not unreasonable at all. In fact, that's very, very attainable. And look at that kick she's got going. She's got big legs going. Look at her just dominating this field. She is 11 seconds ahead of the third place center. And, uh, she takes the turn. Two, eight. 
She is going to make the trial cut in the 400 women's fire ramp and is on pace to break the meet record. So this is a really special swim here. She is just dominating the field. Campbell Chase with a 33-4 looks very, very good too. Campbell Chase is going to be close to trial cuts also. Uh, we'll see if she can sneak in under the time. But uh, it's a 4.49.8. So uh, Lily Bognar dominates the field with a 4.43. And Chase Campbell, 4.49.79, makes the trial cut by a tenth of a second. So great swim by our top two finishers. That's Lily Bognar, new meet record. And uh, that record is from 2012. So, uh, you know, it's been on the books for a long time. And uh, Lily takes down that record and uh, gets her trial cut. And then Ch Campbell Chase uh, slips in under the, under the trial cut by a tenth of a second. So in lane five. Finishing in third is Chloe Diner from Academy Bullets in lane, in lane, number, uh, in lane number six with a 455. Had a great last 100 freestyle. Now we move to the men's 200 freestyle. We're in the E final. We have uh, Ethan Zhu from Condor in, in uh, lane number one. In lane number two, Carter Jewell from Waukesha. Lane three, Samuel Wolf from Verona. Lane four, Josh Lopez from Rockville, Montgomery. Lane five, Cameron Roy from Hokie. Lane six, Andrew Sito from New Wave Swimming out of North Carolina. Uh, Benjamin Luginski, lane seven from Ole. And uh, Benjamin Jabs from Minnetonka Swim Club in Minnesota. These are the 16 and unders. Uh, so these are the younger swimmers that probably swam in the age group meeting. Especially the 15 year olds. This is the 200 free. We talked about this yesterday with the women. You know, it used to be a, this used to be a middle of distance event. You do need to build your speed for the first hunt, first 50. But, man, once you get into that second 50, you've got to be getting after it a little bit more. And we'll see much bigger kicks than we saw 10, 15 years ago. And this is turning into a sprint event. And, but you've got to, you know, you're going to sprint, but you've got to have some control, too. So uh, Josh Lopez was our leader at the first 50, and he's still our leader. The 55-7, uh, 56-4 uh, second place is... Benjamin Luginski from Ole, and it's in lane seven and lane six. Right above him, Andrew Cito with a 57-0. Josh Lopez took this race out strong. He's got a big kick going on. We'll see if he can hang on. But watch uh, Benjamin Luginski in lane number seven at the bottom. Lopez with a slight lead of thir and, uh, 125 8 versus 126 0. But Ben Luginski outsplits Josh by five tenths of a second. And that's definitely within the range. And you see uh, Ben Luginski right now in lane seven. He is pulling ahead of Josh Lopez using those legs. Look at that big kick. He's still being big kicks a lot of guys. And uh, Cameron Roy from Hokie in lane five. And then lane two, Carter Jewell also starting to make a move. But it is going to be Ben Luginski, 155.1. Olympic trial cut in this event is a 149.99. And in second place, it's lane four, Josh Lopez, the 155.6. And in third place, we have up in lane two, Carter Jewell, the 57.2. Moving on to the D final, we have Josh Donovan in lane one from Nation's Capital. In lane two, we have Griffin Oler from Rockville, Montgomery. In lane three, Matthew Rose from NCAP, Nation's Capital. Lane number four, Strahinia Maslow from Long Island Aquatic Club. Uh, lane number five, James Benison from New Wave out of North Carolina. Alexander Grocholsky from Aquacon Swimming in Potomac Valley. It's up in Nation, up uh, near D.C. Uh, Ian Malone, Greater Pensacola in lane seven and in lane eight. Lance Young from Huntsville Swim Association in Huntsville, Alabama. And again, you want to have a strong kick this whole race, but you cannot go crazy on the first 50 because then you'll let, you will not have legs at the end of the race. So it's very important you're building this race, building your legs into it. Lance 
Lance Young from Huntsville on first and 26-2. But the entire field is within six cents of each other. So too close to call, obviously, at this point in the race with a lot of things going to happen. But uh, lane eight, we're seeing Lance Young getting after this race early. Some coaches like to tell their swimmers in lane eight, just go for it and see what happens. Get the lead. See if your emotion can carry the rest of the way. I uh, don't know if that's what's happening here, but he's maintaining the lead, 54-4, opening up a little bit of, uh, opening up the lead a little bit with the, you know, Lance Young with the fastest split for the first 250s. Now let's see if he's got the legs to carry him home. It's Lance Young at the bottom of your screen with the, with the lead and maintaining this lead through the first 350s. Uh, but right behind him, we got a, a, Alexander Kaczorski in lane six, James Benison in lane number five, and Sarahinya Maslow in lane four on Long Island, uh, all cl- keeping the race tight. But again, 29-9, all, st- second fastest, third fastest split, but the field is definitely closing in. We'll see if he's, uh, you know, and, and we're seeing uh, Lance Young in lane eight. He's looking towards the right. I would like him to be looking towards the left to keep, you know, just watch that competition a little bit. Uh, he ends up in third place. Uh, Alexander Grotowski uh, is, the le- is the winner. 29-2, great last 50 uh, from lane six, and he's from Occoquan. And in second place, Strahinia Maslow from Long Island. And in third place, Lance Young, who went out really strong in the first half, just got caught at the end, uh, but still a great swim. 154-6. In the C final, Suburban Seahawks lane one, Charlie Nenchev. In lane two, Jackson Schreiber from New Wave. Lane number three, Mikhail Kojanov, Kojanov from Nations Capital. Sean Atkinson, lane four from Long Island Aquatic Club. Finally, a Long Island swimmer, his name I can, uh, I can actually pronounce. Uh, Jeremy Rosen from lane five from Scottsdale Aquatic Club. Dominic Mazurik from FMC Aquatic Club in lane six. Brady, Be- Brady Begin, uh, Rockville, Montgomery, and Potomac Valley, and uh, Samuel Calder in lane eight from Stingray Aquatic Team. And right now, so lane eight is at the bottom of your screen and more towards the left. Uh, lane eight is at the top. And it is lane one. It is uh, Charlie Nenchev who touches first with a 26 0. Uh, Dominic Mazurik is in second with a 26 2. I think we'll see some things shake out here. We'll see how, see how this race goes. Already it looks like lane six, uh, Dominic Mazurik is uh, inching ahead in lane four. Sean Atkinson actually looks to be moving into lead. So I think the lanes one, four, and six are who we're looking at right now. Um, tough to catch the angle. And it is. It is uh, Sean Atkinson in first place with a 54-9 so far. Charlie Nevchev about a half a second behind him. Jeremy Rosen from Scottsdale in lane five is in third right now. And, wow, look at this, man. Uh, this is, uh, you know, we've... You know, I've always I've said earlier that in the 200s, the third 50 is the most important. And look at Sean Atkinson. It looks like he got shot out of the cannon. But uh, you know, we'll see if he's actually going much faster. He's actually two tenths of a second slower than his previous split. But everybody else is going a little, is, has actually fallen off their pace. And so where it looks like he's getting shot out of a cannon, he's just maintaining his pace from the second 50. But uh, that's going to be enough for him. To, to go ahead and dominate this field. Now the race is for second. It looks like we're going to have Jeremy Rosen and Brady Began, lanes five and six, battling it out for second place. And it is Sean Atkinson from Long Island Aquatic Club. Jeremy Rosen lane, from uh, Scottsdale in lane five holds on for second place. And Brady Began coming back strong uh, with a 154.3. He's from Rockville, Montgomery. Uh, he finishes third. In the B final now, we have in lane number one, Jiaru Zhu from Aqua Jets. I apologize if I mucked that up. 
Uh, Luke Corey from uh, Naval Academy, lane number three, Nathaniel Harris from FMC, lane number four, Henry Webb from Aquajets, lane number five, also from Aquajets, Connor Hogan, lane number six, Jackson Tischler from, uh, from Nation's Capital, and lane number seven, Suburban Seahawks, that's Ken Yanai, and um, in lane number eight, FMC, Simon Miskowski. the wall is Henry Webb from Aqua Jets in lane four. Connor Hogan right next to him as teammate. See if they can push each other along. Undoubtedly they know each other very, very well. And it looks like it's going to be Henry Webb touching first, but looks like lane two, Luke Corey from Naval Academy is moving up. It's going to be tight between those two, and he may take the lead, and he does. It is Luke Corey in lane two. With the second, with the fastest split on the second 50, he's 54-9. Henry Webb is 55-3, and from Aqua Jets in lane four, lane five, Connor Hogan from Aqua Jets has in, moved into third place. So uh, we'll see how this shakes out. Watching lane seven too, Canyon I uh, look the, uh, looks like he's starting to make a little bit of a So we have Luke Corey from lane two and Nathaniel Harris lane three and Jiaru Zhu from Aqua Jets in lane number one. Those are your top three. And it is lane two. Luke Corey is pulling out of the field. Uh, half a body length lead. Uh, the race is going to be for second and third. And it is Luke Corey with a 152.7. I have not mentioned the trial cut. The Olympic trial cut is a 149.99. Luke Corey splits a 152.7 in lane two. Aqua Jets, Juari Zhu, uh, 153.6 a second. And Nathaniel Harris, uh, lane three, finishes third with a 53.98. Got our championship finalists. The meet record in this event is held by Reed Malone from Nutria back in 2012, 150.97. The Olympic trial qualifying time is a 149.99. So if you're going to get an Olympic trial cut, you've got to break the meet record first. And in lane one, from FMC, Maximus Goch. In lane number two, from Greater Pensacola Aquatic Club, Logan Robinson. In lane number three, from Nova, Virginia, Nathan Zabota. In lane number four, from Long Island Aquatic Club, Martin Parasinski. Lane number five, from New Wave Swim Team, Matthew Marsteiner. Lane number six, from Long Island Aquatic Club, Sean Green. In lane number seven from Oakland Ole, it is Devin Dilger. He made his trial cut last night in 100 free in a time trial. In lane number eight from City of Richardson, William Savarese. See a lot of these guys in finals already throughout the, in the first couple of nights. So uh, we'll see how this race pans out. We've seen some of these guys in the 100, seen them in a little bit longer events. So here we are in the middle, of, kind of middle distance for these guys, 400 guys and 100 guys. So we'll see how this pans out. I would think if you're going to make an Olympic trials qualifying time in the first 100, you're going to have to be out in 53 seconds. Bring it back at a 55 for a 149 with all the tons of hundreds added in there. So we'll probably be looking for a 24 second first 50. It's 
minutes. Uh, we have uh, Martin Parasinski out in 25 6, first 50 in lane number four. And Logan Robinson from Greater Pensacola in lane number two. He's second with a 25 6 8. I'm watching lane number six right now, lane number two, lane number four, but it is lane number six, and it's Sean Green, 53-7, 27-6. That's a great second 50. In second place, 53-9 is Martin Parasinski. Uh, lane number three, Logan Robinson, 54-3. He's definitely going to have to pick up the play pace. Sean Green. Looks like the most likely candidate to make an Olympic trial cut here. Uh, Matt Pearson is going to be a little bit faster. He's going to be 27-4. So Sean Green, 28 Again, he's going to need to be a little bit faster. He needs to be a 27-99 on this last 50 if he's going to make the Olympic trial cut. But he is our leader. He's got a great kick going. Crowd's cheering for him. Going to be very close. I, I think he's going to have a great shot at getting the record. Oh, 150.08. Just off. He was a 28.08. He needed a 27.99. 150.08 does get the meet record held by Reed Malone. So that's a great swim. Fastest swim ever in this meet. But he is eight one hundredths off the trial cut, so I would imagine we'll see him doing a time trial, unless he's already made the trial cut in another event, in another meet. Uh, William Savarys from the City of Richardson, twenty seven seven, had the fastest split. And he moved into second place with a one fifty one two, and in third place was Nathan Sabota from Nova with a twenty eight point two, and a one. I'm sorry, with a one fifty one seven. All right, 50 breaststroke for the women and 50 breaststroke for the men. I'm going to have to read these names fast or else we're going to miss the whole race. So in the E final, so we are going to so we start all of our races from the start end of the pool, but because the 50 is only one length of the pool, our timers are going to make the long walk to the end of the pool, so we will have a little bit of time here. But uh, let me go through the names anyway while we're waiting. In lane number one, we've got Lila Wilbur from NCAP. In lane number two, we've got Sophia Jimenez from uh, Blazing Barracudas. In lane number three, Abigail Moore from the Academy Bullets. Riley McNeil in lane number four from Nutri Aquatics. Uh, lane number five is Annabelle Smith from Westchester Marlins. And lane number six is Taylor Clements from Greater Pensacola Aquatic Club. Imogen Duffy from Hinsdale Swim Club is in lane 7. I believe we saw her swim the IM earlier today. And Madeline Finch from uh, from Naval Academy Aquatic Club swam. Uh, is, she'll be swimming in lane number 8. These are the uh, 16 and unders. Uh, with the youngest swimmer in the field is Abigail Moore, uh, Academy Bullets Swim Club, a 13-year-old. Hybrids are getting in place at the far end. The officials are going to make sure that they are all organized. There is no Olympic trials qualifying time in this event because they don't offer the 50 flyback or breast at the Olympics. So uh, there will be no Olympic trial cut. And uh, so they we're not competing for that. Is, uh, but swimmers do have best times in this event. They'll want to get up and get after this. You want to have a nice, quick underwater pull. You see that dolphin kick? That is uh, it's legal now. You can do one dolphin kick on the pullout. This is all about fast tempo.
39.3. Riley McNeil from Mature is second with a 33.6. And Taylor Clement in lane six is third with a 33.94. In the D final, we have Mia Nappy from Corvallis in lane number one. In lane two, Anna Flanagan, Fox Valley Wave. In lane number three, Carrie Fry from Charles River Aquatics. In lane number four, Taylor Tegler, Suburban Seahawks. Camille Zinnis from lane uh, from Hinsdale in lane number five. Uh, Alec Kelly right next door at FMC Aquatics, uh, right next door to Hinsdale. In lane six, Anna La Rosa. In lane seven, Naval Academy Aquatic Club. And Lila Devlin. Mason Mako swim team in lane eight. This is the D final. You can see a lot of different styles of breaststroke. It's one of the one strokes that you see the most differences. You can see some kids with longer strokes, wider strokes, some kids with higher tempos, um, and just a little bit different styles. Some kids come up high, some kids like to stay low. It's really about what feels best for you and what works best for you. It's the body so, uh, there's really no real answer for this. But uh, in first place, we have Taylor Tegler from Suburban Seahawks on lane four. Camille Zinas on uh, lane five from Hinsdale right next to her. And up in lane two, Anna Flanagan from uh, Fox Valley Wave in Wisconsin is in third. Now we're into the C final. These girls are all scoring points for their team. In lane number one, uh, Regan Campshore from Nations Capital. In lane number two, Isabella Watoyowitz from Academy Bullet Swim Club. Lane number three, Ruhi Cheetan from Academy Bullet Swim Club. Lane number four, Cheyenne Burroughs from Verona Aqua uh, Area Swim Team. Lane number uh, five, Maisie Paradis from Verona. Lane number six, Natasha Mantle from Hinsdale Swim Club. Olivia Moore from Academy Bullets. And lane number eight, Amanda Velikas from FMC Aquatic. So we've got two girls from Verona, three Academy Bullets in this field. They are, though, they're winning the women's race. So getting these kids in is going to help their cause. Tight race. We've seen a lot. You know, this is as you get deeper into this field, you're going to start seeing a little bit more powerful strokes, a little bit quicker tempos. At lane four is uh, Cheyenne Burroughs from Verona. Second place is Ruhi Chaitin from Academy Bullet Swim Club. And in lane oh, number one, Ray, Reagan Campshore from NCAP. Third place with a 33.8. On to the B final. We have Lauren Jablonski in lane number one from FMC. In lane number two, Nova Virginia, Elizabeth Goodwin Bernie. Lane number three, Excel Aquatics, Bryce Wins in red. Lane number four, Catherine Hughes from Arlington Aquatic Club. Lane number five, Alina Stuckus from Machine Aquatics. Lane number six, Cassandra Bauer from Nova, Virginia. Leah Roji, lane number seven from Nutri Aquatics. And Kenda Schindler, lane eight from Aqua Jets. Very, very tight race, just like we've seen in the previous weeks. So lane one, right there, two, and lane three, dives into the finish, but no, it is Lauren Jablonski, lane one from FMC Aquatic, lunged in, had a great last stroke when she dove for the wall. Bryce wins in red from uh, in lane three from Excel is second. Catherine Hughes from Arlington Aquatic Club is third, 33-1. Meet record in this event is held by Margaret Arosti from uh, Long Island Aquatic Club, set in uh, 2016 of 3179.
Now we bring on our A finalists. In lane number one, you see Amy Quinn right there from Rockville Montgomery Swim Club. In lane number two, we have Kate Palsy uh, uh, from Adina Swim Club. In lane number three, we have Grace, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Grace Koenig Song from Nassau Wild, North Shore of Chicago. In lane number four, we have Caroline Larson from Fox Jet. Lane number five, Elizabeth Naraki from Academy Bullet Swim Club. She was the 100, free, 100 breaststroke champion last night. Lane number six, Anna Kane from Excel Aquatics. Lane number seven, Brooke Corrigan from Academy Bullet Swim Club. And then lane number eight, Chloe Diner from Academy Bullet Swim Club rounding out the field. So we've got three bullets in this field, in this field and uh, some other swimmers. So, so some big points on the table for them. Elizabeth Naraki in lane five had the fastest 50 split in the Twitter medley relay. We'll see if that converts into a win here. But the Fox Check girls do come to race, and so they're a very well coached team. And so we'll see how this goes. And right off the bat, it's Caroline Larson from Fox that had a great start, great underwater pull, good tempo. And uh, Elizabeth Naraki right there next to her. It looks like it's going to be Caroline Larson with the rear. And second place. Oh, wow. Grace Koenig Song out of, uh, it actually won that race. Uh, I didn't see her on the outside there, but uh, she had a great last stroke to get out ahead of Caroline Larson. Elizabeth uh, Naraki in lane five was third with a 32. So Grace Koenig Song from Manassa Wild finishes first. Caroline Larson from Fox Ship finishes second. Elizabeth Naraki finishes third. We're going to get right into the men's 50 breaststroke. Matthew Will from Nova in lane one. Joseph Wanagris from Winchester in lane two. John Chen, lane three, Nova. Lane four, Joshua Wang from Rise Aquatics. Lane number five, Ian DeSaswe from Fast Falcons. Uh, David Kichnerski from Long Island Aquatic Club. And... Uh, Devin Bone is in lane seven, NASA Wildcat. Noah Chen, NASA Wildcat, lane eight. These are the 16 and unders. Uh, a couple 15-year-olds in the field, so. Sixteen and under he, he final is Joshua Wang from Rise. It's a twenty nine four seven. Uh, lane number six is David Kurchinski uh, uh, from Long Island Aquatic Club. The second Noah Chen from Wild on lane eight is third. In the D final we have Spencer Ridge Nova Virginia in lane one. In lane two Wilhelm Chaplin NASA Wild. In lane number three Pablo Silva Nova Virginia. In lane number four Cole Hilton from Rockville Montgomery. Evan Whitty in lane five from Minnetonka Swim Club. Lane six is Noah Robinson from Nation's Capital. Lane number seven, Nemantis Zonis from Hinsdale Swim Club. And lane number eight, Victor Gill from St. Andrews Aquatics here in Florida.
that's Spencer Ridge from Nova, Virginia in first. Hit that whole top side of the pool. Pablo Silva in lane three was second. Wilhelm Chaplin in lane number two was third. In the C final, we have Jeff Ray Craddock from Naval Academy in lane number one. Jordan Kelly, unattached Nations Capital in lane number two. Jack Hackler, Aqua Jet Swim Team, Minnesota in lane number three. Stuart Timmerman, lane four, NASA Wildcat. Hunter Boudreaux, lane five, City of Lafayette Aquatics. Andrew Rosa from FMC Aquatics in lane number six. Lane number seven, Adina Swim Club is Rohan D'Souza Larson. Lane number eight, Brian Wilburn from Rockville, Montgomery. Boy, it's so tight in these 50s with the men. Just, uh, you can't really even call it. Academy in lane number one, finishing first. Lane number five, Hunter Boudreaux finishing second. And in lane number seven, Rohan D'Souza Larson finishing third. Moving out of the B final, we have Eric Nadecki from uh, Westchester Marlins. Lane number two, Luke Michalowicz in from Motor City Aquatics. Lane number three, Nojus Bertulis from FMC Aquatic. Lane number four, Colin Zhang, Ryan at Rise Aquatics. Uh, Hunt, uh, lane number five, Hunter Shurik from Scottsdale Aquatic Club. Lane number six, Samuel Roundtree, York Swim Club. Lane number seven, Trent Hollinsworth from Hokie Aquatics. And in lane number eight, Leighton Arnold from Nations Capital. Again, we got to, as soon as this camera angle changes, we've got a better view of this. But, uh, this looks like Church. That's from Scottsdale Aquatic Club. And, and right next to him, Colin Chang from Rise out of Illinois in the second. And in lane number three, Luke Michalowicz from uh, Motor City uh, finishes third. And now we get ready for the A final. Getting ready for the A final now. In lane number one from Hinsdale Swim Club, Jonathan Wang. Lane number two. Alexandru Cuckoo from uh, Swim United. Lane number three. Chase Swearington from uh, Naval Academy, or New Albany Aquatic Club. Number three, Jake Wang from Suburban Seahawks. I'm sorry, that was lane, uh, lane four. Lane number five, Brady Johnson from FMC Aquatic. Lane number six, Abraham Miller from, uh, Abram Miller from Badger Aquatic Club. Lane number seven, Samuel Wolf from Verona Aquatic Area Swim Team. And lane number eight, Joshua Bay from Highland Hurricanes in Indiana. Josh Bay was the winner in the 100 breaststroke last night.
Looks like lane five and lane one with the early leaders. That's Jonathan Wang up in lane one and Brady Johnson in lane five. Jake Wang in lane four with a late rush surge, and he goes 28-3-0. Lane in, uh, Josh Bay, the 100, 100 breaststroke champion, 28-4-9 at the bottom of your screen in lane eight. And then up at the very top of your screen, Jonathan Wang, Hinsdale Swim Club in lane three. And presenting awards for the 400 individual medley, the 200 freestyle, and the 50 breaststroke events. Need to have our swimmers for the 400 individual medley, 200 freestyle, and ladies, 50 breaststroke at the award staging area. And now presenting the awards for the ladies 400 individual medley in eighth place, the Academy Bullets, Caitlin Gressick. Seventh place goes to Scottsdale Aquatics Club, Emma Sayers. In sixth place, the Condors, Cornelia Fox. Fifth place, Suburban Seahawks, Gemma Underkoffler. In fourth place, the Greater Philadelphia Aquatics Club, Kylie McMurray. The bronze to Academy Bullets, Claude Diner. The silver, posting in with a 449.79, surpassing the qualifying time for the Olympic trials, Campbell Chase. And number one, Posting in with a 443-21. She gets her ticket to the Olympic trials. Team Greenville, Leela Bogner.
And congratulations, ladies. Presenting the gentleman for the 200 meter freestyle in eighth place, Devin Dilger of Oli Swimming. Seventh place goes to New Wave Swim Team, Matthew Marsteiner. In sixth place, FMC Aquatics, Maximus Gutsch. Fifth place goes to Long Island Aquatic Club, Martin Persinski. Fourth place to the Greater Pensacola Aquatic Club, Logan Robinson. The bronze, Nova of Virginia, Nathan Zaboda. The silver, core swimming, William Savarese. And the gold, posting in with a 150.08, a new meet record. The record used to be Reed Malone at 150.97, 150.08. Sean Green, now the record holder, and he is dancing on the bubble for the Olympic trials cut. The ladies 50 meter breaststroke. Eighth place going to Rockville, Montgomery, Amy Kim. In seventh place, Excel Aquatics, Anna Keene. Sixth place, Academy Bullets, Brooke Corrigan. In fifth place, Adina Swim Club, Kate Pulaski. Fourth place, Academy Bullets, Chloe Diner. The bronze going to Academy Bullets, Elizabeth Noraki. The silver going to the Fox Jets, Caroline Larson. And the gold, the big points, 32 points to NASA Wildcats, Grace Koenig Song. And presenting the gentleman's 50 meter breaststroke. Eighth place going to the Badger Aquatic Club, Abram Mueller. Seventh place to Verona Area Swim Team, Samuel Wolf. In sixth place, New Albany Aquatics, Chase Waringen. In fifth place, FMC Aquatics, Brady Johnson. Fourth place, Swim United, Alexandru Kuko. The bronze to Hinsdale Swim Club, Jonathan Wang. 28.57 the time he posted. The silver going to Highland Hurricanes, Joshua Bay. 28.49 the time he posted. And the gold to Suburban Seahawks, Jake Wang in at 28.30. And getting ready for the next event, the ladies 100 meter backstroke at the starting blocks right now. It's Hannah Parkin at block number one for Fast Falcons. Block number two is Lake Country's Audrey Faulkner-Wargel. Karen Miller at block number three. 
for FMC Long Island, Callista Chen at block number four. Arlington Aquatics at block number five, Gloria Kang. Maisie Paradis at block number six, Verona area. Arlington Aquatic at block number seven, Catherine Douglas. And at block number eight, Nassau Wildcats, Maeve O'Donnell. Ladies, 100 meter backstroke E finalist. And in lane one, Audrey Falconer Wurgle in lane two, Karina Miller lane three, Callista Chadden in lane four, Gloria Quang in lane five, Maisie Parody in lane six, Catherine Douglas lane seven, and maybe O'Donnell in lane eight. And this is a hundred back. You need to get up and get going. Want to build the first half of that first 50 and then cut loose and get after it. And touching first from Verona is Maisie Parody in lanes number six. 3104, right behind her, Karina Miller in lane three from FMC. Here they come, coming under the flags. Looks like lane two, lane six. And it is. It is lane two. It is from uh, uh, Lake Country swim team out of Wisconsin. And uh, she touches first with a 104.4. Uh, lane number two, Karina Miller, right next to her in lane three, finishes second with a 104.8. And uh, we go on to the D finals. So we have Emery de Gunther from Nova, Avery Ludke from Aqua Jets. Lane three is Abigail Hahn from Long Island. Lane four is Claire Mihawk from Blazing Barracudas. Lane number five is Sophia Krusty from uh, Cruity, Cru Cruity from Charles River. Lane number uh, six is Samantha Chan from Huntsville. Lane number seven is Abby Luton from Rockville. And in lane number eight, we have Olivia Music from NASA Wildcat. The meet record is Rachel Boostma, 100.02 from Aquajet, set back in 2012. I believe that was a national record, and I think she was very close. If not, uh, <laughs> to an American record? I did not recall. All right, Claire Mihawk. It touches first. Claire is in lane number four. She is out in a 31.1. Well, boy, look at lanes one, two, four, seven, and uh, boy, that could be anybody's race right now. Coming in under the flags right now. And it is, oh, we have a tie. We have a tie for first place. With Claire Mihawk in lane six, Abby Luton in lane number seven, 104.16, lanes four and seven. And then in third place, we have uh, Avery Lutke from Aquadots in lane number two. In the C final, we have Ellison Wittdecht from Nations Capital. Lane number two is Marin Shimkus from NASA. Lane number three is Ella Cosgrove from Scottsdale. Lane four, Cornelia Fox from Condor. Lane five, is Josie Conley from Oli. Lane six is uh, Emerson Meyer from Westmont, from West, uh, Waukesha West Swim Club, Waukesha Express Swim Club, sorry. Uh, lane number seven is Adeline Beegler from Adina. And lane number eight is Olivia Cena from Verona. Tough to get all those names in, get the teams right and everything when you're swimming the hundreds and they're moving them fast on me. But that's okay. We want to keep the pace moving and uh, keep the energy up here at the Aquatic Center, at the Rosen, uh, fam, uh, Rosen Aquatic Center. And so far, looks like 
Josie Connolly is going to touch first. Yep, 30.83, but right behind her in lane number eight is Olivia Cena, so keep an eye on her. Olivia had a nice break out there, good wall, good dolphin kicks. We'll get a good view of this uh, as they come under the middle of the pool. And it looks like uh, looks like Olivia Cena in lane eight is in the lead, a slight lead, but uh, very, very close. But it's uh, Ella Cosgrove from Scottsdale with a 103.97 who touches first. Olivia Cena is second in lane eight. Ella Cosgrove is in lane three. And in lane number six from Waukesha is Emerson Meyer finishing third. Lane number one in this B final. This is Taylor Grimley from Suburban Seahawks. Lane two, Abigail Chan from Huntsville. Lane three from Sea Devils is Lillian Van Heel. Amy Quinn from Rockville, Montgomery. Gwyneth Frick from Nation's Capital. Lane number six, Elizabeth Backer from Aqua Jets. Lane number seven, Sadie Buckley from Mason Makos. And lane number eight from Rocket Aquatics is Isabella Barger. Isabel Barger. Nice start. Key here in the back circle starts to get those hips up out of the water so you can get a nice angle of attack on that and then snap those dolphin kicks out. If you're a really good dolphin kicker, you want to go deeper. If your dolphin kicks are not your strong suit, then you want to keep the start a little bit more shallow so you can get up and get racing. And right now, in lane number three, we have Sun Aquatics, some Sun Doubles, uh, the Sea Doubles uh, in Minnesota. G is out first. Lane number eight, uh, Isabel Barger from Rocket Aquatics, also from Wisconsin, or from North, yeah, from Wisconsin. Yeah, she is in second. But uh, this race tied up. It looks like a Sadie Buckley in lane number seven is moving into second. But boy, what a tight race uh, between first and second place right now. Sadie Buckley looks like she's pulling into the lead, but. Uh, if Elizabeth Barker in lane six can have a great finish, she can touch her out. But uh, it is Sadie Buckley, 102.59. Uh, Elizabeth Barker, lane uh, number six, is second with a 103.04. And uh, Lillian Van Heel, 103.53, is third. Now we go on to the A final. In lane number one, you see Alexis Stevens there getting ready to go. She is from Poseidon Swimming. Lane number two, Aspen Gersper from St. Andrews Aquatics. Lane number three, Grace Robb from Aqua Jets. Lane number four, Margaret Wanazak. She's from Elmbrook Swim Club. Lane number five, Tierney Lenahan from NASA Wild. Uh, lane number six, Riley Arisman. First time we've seen her tonight. She's been really busy in the finals all week. 14 years old. Uh, in lane number seven, we have Alyssa Sagel from Nations Capital. And in lane number eight, from Waukesha Express, we have Ella Antonuski. girls in this event who have already won events earlier in the meet and so we'll see if they can tally one more win Looks like lane four 
Uh, Margaret Wanasek is off to the early lead. I wouldn't worry about that. She is going to touch the wall first. She's out in 29.1. Meet record is a 00.02. Olympic trials qualifying for the backstroke is a one, uh, 101.89. Margaret Wanizek is definitely on pace for that. Second place, 29.6. Riley Arison is very close to that, too. So um, we'll see if they can uh, pull this off. I think the meet record is probably going to be out of out of reach for these girls, but it's such a phenomenal swim. But as they come in under the board, and here we go. Oh, my goodness, 59.90. Don't listen to me when I say it's out of reach. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Margaret Wanizek, 59.90. First girl ever to go under a minute in this meet. Breaks the meet record. Makes the Olympic trial cut. Second place, 10058 is Riley Arisman. Gets her another Olympic trial cut. 10016 in lane three in lane seven. Alyssa Sagel, Nations Capital, also makes her Olympic trial cut. And 10178. And Tierney Linehan from Nassau from uh, Wildcat Aquatics uh, gets her Olympic trial cut. So four girls are under the Olympic trial cut in that event. So, wow, what a what a big field that was. But congratulations, Margaret Wanizek goes under a minute in a 100-meter backstroke. That's a heck of an accomplishment. And, uh, you know, she took it out in 29-1 and then paled it up with a 30.7, a great second 50 there. All right, now for the women's, for the men's 200-meter butterfly, we have Belazar Filipov from FMC Aquatic, Daniel Gonitis from Academy Bullets Swim Club in lane two, Paul Mullen, lane three, Nations Capital, uh, lane four, Cooper Dillman, lane five, Brady Julian, lane six, Ryan Smith, all from Nova, Virginia, Parker Chan in lane number seven, Spencer Campbell, lane number eight. So uh, now we're on to the men's 200 fly. This is definitely an endurance event, and what a morning this was. We saw... In the A through D finals, you needed to be under 150. A little bit about swimming, you know, that's pretty fast. And uh, if you don't, we're telling you, it's pretty fast. So that's some great swimming there. And uh, right now we've got Ryan Smith uh, out in 27.5, lane 6. He's our current leader. 27-7 for Daniel Gennaitis, Academy Bullets, and lane two is in second. And we'll, uh, and uh, Victor Filipov is in lane three, 27-9. So we'll see how this is. Not uncommon to see some lead changes. Right now, Daniel Gennaitis and uh, Paul Mullen are neck and neck. Ryan Smith, lane six from Nova. I couldn't see him because there's a bunch of swimmers walking in front of me. He's 59-8. Paul Mullen, 59-9. And Dan Leganitis, 001. So, a very, very tight race. But right now, it looks like Paul Mullins uh, just kicking it into a slightly different gear right now. And we'll see if I pull Dan Leganitis with him. We'll see if I can see him. And we'll uh, see where the placings are for this. So, uh, Paul Mullen, 132.01. Daniel Gennaitis, he's in lane three. Lane two is Daniel Gennaitis. He's in second place, 133-0. But uh, it's super tight, 133-2, 133-5. Really, really tight race for, for second place. But uh, right now, Paul Mullen is just, just putting a hammer down right now. And then the race is definitely for second between lanes two, four, and six. Even lane eight, uh, Spencer Campbell is starting to make a move. But it's 204.32. That's Paul Mullen in lane number three. Second place is uh, Cooper Dillman from Nova in lane number four. And Ryan Smith, also from Nova, is in lane number is lane number six, and he is third. So that's your 16 and unders. In the D final, we have Michael Kaiser, lane one, Rockville Montgomery. Aiden Grendes from Aquan, lane number two. Uh, Charlie Mayer, lane three, Nova. Samir Elkasem, lane number four from Rockville. Ryan Baldwin, Long Island, lane number five. Evan McKessey, uh, McKessey is uh, lane six from Rockville. Michael Anderson, Hokey, lane seven. 
Evan Ingraham, Arlington Aquatic, lane eight. Got to be really careful in this race. You don't want to go out too fast at first 50. You will pay for it at the end. You, know, you have trouble getting your arms out of the water. This, this race is unforgiving. There's nowhere to hide. If uh, you got to swim a smart race so that you have the energy to finish the race at the end. That's why. Coming to the wall first. Is it lane six? Yep, it is. It is Evan. Mackesy, he is from Rockville, Montgomery, the 27-0. Oh, right next to him from Long Island, Ryan Baldwin, 27-1. Uh, so exciting when I can pronounce a Long Island swimmer's name. Ryan Baldwin, love it. Looks like um, some of the swimmers in the middle of the pool, lane four. That's Samir Elksam. Looks like he's pulling a prop, but it's... Uh, it's actually Sam Bald, uh, Ryan Baldwin from Long Island Aquatic who touches first. Ryan uh, Evan Max, uh, Maxi McKessie, uh is in second. 58-3, 58-5, 58-6 for those three. Uh, that's uh, Samir Alkasam. It's a very, very tight race right now. They touch at the wall. It is Samir Alcomson, lane four. Uh, moves into the lead with 31 8. And uh, Evan Mackesy, 32 5. Split there. He's in second. Ryan Baldwin's in third. Looks like this race is between lanes four and six. Looks like it is going to be lane four, Samir Alkasim. And he does touch first. Took an extra stroke there, so uh, made, just made the race a little bit closer. He's first with a 203 double O. Evan McAsee Mac is second with a 203 2. And in lane three, that's Ryan Bald, lane five, Ryan Baldwin third with a 204 7. Uh, in the C final, we have on lane one, Owen Hoban from Stingray Swim Team. Lane two, Luke Dwyer Condor. Lane three, uh, Aaron Davidson from New Wave. Lane four, Ryan Ersman just saw his sister swim a minute ago from Lakers swim. Lane number five, uh, Ken Yenye from uh, uh, Suburban Seahawks. Uh, Alexander Ayers in lane six from Nova. Drew Plouffe from uh, Aqua Jets in lane number seven. Charles Greenwood, lane eight from Nas Nation's Capital. This is our C final. Looks like lanes one and four are out at the early lead right now. But it is lane four. It's Ryan Ayersman from Laker. He's out in front, 2702. Uh, second place is lane number two, Luke Dwyer from Condor, 272. And then down in lane seven towards the bottom of the screen, another 272. Uh, so he's in third, but again, it's uh, right now it's uh, Ryan Ersman with the lead, and then literally the next six swimmers are within a couple tenths of each other. So Ryan Ersman is going to touch the wall first, 57-0, 30.0, the fastest split in the in that second 50. We'll see if he can hang on. Uh, the rest of the field very very bunched up. From third to seventh is 58-4 to 58 He's pulling away. He's put to 30.8 for a 127.9. Rest of the fields are all split in 32, so I'd expect Ryan Aresman's going to pull away and win this heat. Uh, if we can hang on to the last uh, of bid here. He needs a 2 0 uh, for Olympic trial cut. So I would, he's definitely on pace for Olympic trials here. If he can hang on, he does... 
He's been splitting 30 points, and he also needs the 32 uh, to get uh, to make this. If he gets a 33 low, he's got it. And uh, he's definitely, yeah, he's in there 159.47, 31.5. So that's an Olympic trials qualifying time out of the B, out of the C final. It's the first one we've seen out of a heat that early. And uh, great swim, 159.4. Second place, and Drew Plew from Aquajet, 204.5. And third place, Aaron Davidson from uh, Wave. And he is in lane number three and finishes third. In the B final, we have Henry Gu from uh, Hinsdale Swim Club. Kyle Peck in lane two from Stingrays. Lane three, Mika Davis from Aqua Jets. Lane number four, Harry Belcher from Nova. Lane number five, Luke Bedsole from Huntsville. Lane number six, Ryan Graham from Nations Capital. Lane number seven, Nathan Carr from Aqua Jets. And lane number eight, Elliot Lee from Rockville, Montgomery. So we've seen our first sub two minute swim. And actually, that uh, was a meet record, too. And uh, while you can't score any more points than you're in the C final, you can uh, get meet records in any heat. So it is a new meet record. So we got uh, Nathan Carr and Aqua Jets in, in lane number seven. He is out in a 26-7. And right next to him in lane number six is Ryan Graham uh, from NCAP 27-2. And then Harry Belcher from Nova. And here we are with uh, Nathan Carr continuing to hang on to lead. 30.4. That's a 57-1. He's in great shape. He needs to be a 30-point again here. So we'll keep an eye on him and see if he can keep pulling away from this field to make an Olympic trial cut. 58-2. Ryan Graham, again, 30.99. He's got to be careful on this third 50. Harry Belcher is another one. 31. from him and so oh ouch uh nathan carr 32.0 now he's at a 129.2 he's gonna have to you know he's got to be a 31 2 so he's gonna have to really get after this last 50 he's gonna make his trial cut he looks solid but lane eight uh elliot lee is moving up alongside of him i think uh, i think that uh Nathan Carr got on a little bit quick, and you can see the hip start drop a little bit. He's definitely uh, struggling a little bit now, and uh, he's and it is actually Elliot Lee moved up just a little bit better hip action, uh, 203.36. Nathan Carr hangs on for second in lane seven with a 203.64, and then uh, Henry Gao with uh, 203.81. In lane one for Minsdale. All right, here we go. Here we got the A finalists. And we're going to start off with Aiden Music from NASA Wildcat. In lane number two, Samuel Marsteiner from New Wave Swim Team in North Carolina. Lane number three, Logan Robinson, Greater Pensacola. Lane number four, Jacob Johnson from Suburban Seahawks. Uh, Massachusetts. Wayne number five, Matthew Marsteiner from New Wave Swim Team, and uh, to another to second uh, New Wave swimmer in this heat. Then we go to J.T. Schmidt. We've seen him swimming a lot from North from Nations Capital. Lane number seven, Ethan Silver from Long Island Aquatic Club. And in lane number eight, Diego Balbi from St. Andrews Aquatics uh, finishing up the field here. 
So the new meet record is a 159.47 set by Ryan Erisman in heat number three in the C final, or heat four actually, in the well heat three in the C final, and uh, the Olympic trials qualifying time is a 20049. We've seen some great swims already tonight in this event. Some great swims already in this meet. So it's going to be a very interesting choice for who the swimmer of the meet is and what the performance of the meet is. But uh, so we'll see what we'll kind of have a better idea with that after tonight and that probably definitely after tomorrow night. Uh, lane number four, Jacob Johnson from Suburban Seahawks. His first with a 26 4. He's out very, very strong. Looks very long. See the long stroke, the hips coming up. And then lane eight, lane six, lane three, all right there on top of him, you know, right behind him. So, want to see a 30, 31 here. So 29-7 for Jacob Johnson's 56-1. 30.09 for uh, Diego Balbi in lane eight, 57-3. These guys can hang on. JT Schmidt, 30.8. He's going to have to really hang, hang tough on, that, uh, on, that third, on this third 50 if he wants a shot at trials. This is not a time to throw down a 32 for these guys. So, and, uh, so right now we see uh, Jacob Johnson looking very, very strong. He's 30.8, 127.0. He's definitely on pace to break the meet record and be well under the trials cut. Uh, Diego Balbi, 150, uh, one, is in second with a 31-4, 128-8. Needs to hang on, needs to keep that tempo up. Lane number two, uh, Samuel Marsteiner is in third with a 130.04, 31-8. Jacob Johnson getting on the struggle bus a little bit beyond. He went out hard early. 200.23. That is an Olympic trials qualifying time. 33-2 coming home. He definitely went after that first 150 meters and paid for it at the end, but he got the trial cut. He hung on. Um, second place was Logan Robinson, 201.61. And then uh, Diego Balbi was third with a 201.69. Thought we'd see, uh, you know, th those guys really got after it. It's a little, it can be very deceptive, you know, because that 200 fly, you can pay for that in a big, big way. So now we go back. We've got, uh, you know, uh, Jeffrey Howe from FMC Aquatics is going to be swimming in lane number four, uh, trying to make his Olympic trial cut in the 100-meter breaststroke. I believe he missed it by one one hundredth of a second last night. Wait a minute. Jeffrey Howe from FMC Aquatics. Listen to the crowd. Now, FMC's got a lot of swimmers here, but they don't have that many swimmers. If you look around this pool deck, I don't know if we can see that with the cameras, but uh, the, the pool is packed. Not one swimmer has left this meet, and literally on all sides of the pool. Hear that, boy. 102.19. I believe he was a 102.2 yesterday. Just listen to the crowd. I'm going to stay quiet.
That is 800 swimmers. Every single time his head comes out of water, they're cheering. He is at 28.92. Definitely on track. He's definitely on pace. He's got to bring it home. Listen to this crowd go nuts. I took my headphones off, and it was so loud in here. I don't think I've ever heard it this loud in this building. Again, the trial cut, one, uh, 102.19, 102.16, 102.10, makes it by nine one hundredths of a second. The crowd is going nuts. It's, it's, it's just so awesome. This is such an awesome experience. Eight hundred swimmers from all around the country that don't know this guy and they're getting up and getting after him. So exciting! Now we got Marie Land uh, now from City of Lafayette Aquatics. She's in the two hundred free. Won a two hundred one six last night. Needs a two double oh point eight. So we have Marie Landa now. I think the important thing for her is to not, this crowd is so amped, she's got to be careful not to get out too fast on this race. Very important, she builds this race up. She went a 2 0 uh, 201 last night. She needs a 2 0 8. going to have the crowd on her on her side in the last half of this race. 27.4 is a solid first half. She's turning here at 57.9. She is well under pace. It's out and out and uh, her first 50 was a 27.4. Second 50, 30.4. She's got to go to the legs now. This is critically important. The crowd is standing and they're on their feet getting after it. She really needs to stay on the legs now and then let the crowd, let the emotion carry her home. So that's to be a 31 here. 31-9. Been a lot of pressure on this last 50. She's got to bring it home now. 129.85. She's got to be a. She's got to be a 31 flat. Definitely wants to be a 30 point, but she looks strong. The legs are going. The crowd's going nuts. Everybody's jumping up and down. She can hear the crowd. There's no doubt about that. 200.89 is the qualifying time. She comes home at a 31.9, 201.78. I think she was a little bit fast that first 50, had the legs cooking, but, uh, you know, 201.78, a little bit slower than yesterday. But, you know, this is, you know, kind of the, uh, you know, when you've got the crowd going crazy for you like that. So, uh, but, hey, you know what? Great swim to do that by yourself. And so that concludes tonight's finals. Some great swimming. We'll have some team scores for you guys tomorrow. You can go to Meet Mobile and check it out. So, uh, and uh, on behalf of the NCSA at Rosen Aquatic Center, 
Uh, we will see you guys tomorrow night. Some great, some more great swimming. And the energy in this facility from everybody is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is NCSA attitude all the way. I love it. And right now, awards for the ladies, 100 meter backstroke awards for the gentlemen's 200 meter butterfly. And presenting awards to the ladies 100 meter backstroke. Waukesha Express captures eighth place, Ella Antonuski. In seventh place, Poseidon Swimming, Alexa Stevens. In sixth place, St. Andrews, Aspen Gersper. Fifth place, the Aqua Jets, Grace Rab. In fourth place, NASA Wildcats, Tierney Lenahan. The bronze going to nation's capital. Alyssa Sagel, the silver to Laker Swim Club, Riley Erisman, and the gold going to Margaret Wanesik of Elmbrook Swim Club. And this race was the race of races, I do believe. Tierney Lenahan, Olympic Trials Cut, Alyssa Sagel, Olympic Trials Cut, Riley Erisman, Olympic Trials Cut. And a new record for 59.90, an Olympic trials cut, Margaret Wanesik of Elmbrook Swim Club. Congratulations, ladies. And the gentlemen's 200 meter butterfly, eighth place going to New Wave swim team, Matthew Marsteiner. Seventh to the NASA Wildcats, Aiden Music. In sixth place, Long Island Aquatics, Ethan Silver. Fifth place goes to Nation's Capital, JT Schmidt. Fourth place to New Wave swim team, Samuel Marsteiner. The bronze to St. Andrews Aquatics, Diego Balbi. The silver to Greater Pensacola, Logan Robinson. And the gold and a ticket to the Olympic Trials, Suburban Seahawks, Jacob Johnson.